Joe with Joe Lee Farms in Ecuador. We're here today in Canara. Santiago and I are going to take you to four different valleys around Vilcabamba so you can see these different towns and their valleys and kind of get an idea of what's here. So we're starting out today in, in Canara. We're here at the Central Park. Now, I tell you, there's not a whole lot of foreigners that live here in the Canara Valley, but there are a few. Um, we've got some friends that live a little south of here in Tumianuma and between here in Tumianuma. So uh, you won't find a lot of, you know, restaurants and things like that here. So most everything you'll have to go back to Vilcabamba to get. There is a little hardware store here on the corner. Um, but for most of your main supplies, you're going to have to go back to Vilcabamba. That's about a 15 minute drive to Vilcabamba. Not too far. It's nice, a little bit different uh, climate, uh, a little warmer, I'd say, than where we live anyway. Uh, probably similar to Vilcabamba. Kind of a windy day. So we're going to give you a little tour of this park and see what you think. And we'll have some pictures for you and a little video. And uh, hopefully you'll find it interesting. Next, we'll go down to uh, Yangana. We'll show you that valley. Here we go. Let's get started. at the Rio Piscobamba, Rio Piscobamba. This is uh, the river here that runs down through Canara and all the way down through Tumianuma. So behind me, you see, this is the one lane bridge you have to cross to get here. A little uh, scary, but it's safe and it works very well. This little overlook here, they're actually uh, reconstructing this right now. They're gonna make this very nice. Looks like they're gonna be serving food on one side and have a little bar there. And this will be a very nice area for the community to be able to come up here. And as you see around here, all the really nice mountains, the river is really cool and clean right here. Probably one of the cleanest rivers you'll find around. Hope you like it. Okay, so we're here in a sugarcane field on the way to Comunidades. And you know where that is. You've seen it in uh, our La Sofia retreats video. And so this is still in Canara. The uh, province of Loja is, uh, is a really a pretty nice sized province. It's famous for a couple of things, sugarcane, one and coffee the other. So Catamayo, where the airport is, is the number one exporter of sugarcane. But Canara is number two, real close behind Catamayo and their sugarcane exports. So the sugarcane here is used for a couple of different things. One, uh, they extract in the juice and they boil it down and they make a panela in these little blocks. So I eat panela every day. It's the purest form of sugar that you can get. 
and uh, has no additives or anything like that to it. So very, very pure sugar. I use it in my coffee every single day. You got to get used to using the vanilla because it's wonderful here. The other thing that we're known for here is the coffee, of course. Lahana coffee is really well known. We're on the coffee route where we live. And so a lot of coffee is grown all the way through this Loja province. So you got to try the coffee and the panela both when you're here in the Loja province. So we've stopped on our way to Yangana, and this is a really interesting spot in the village of Suro. This is called the Devil's Cathedral and really interesting uh, geological formations here. I think you're gonna enjoy this spot. We are uh, still in the, in the uh, province of Loja, by the way, still in the canton of Loja, and uh, about to, you're in the parochial, though, of Yangana. And so um, we'll see on the way, when we get to downtown Yangana, you get to see all the neat stuff there, but we're just on the outskirts of the downtown area. So take a look at this, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we made it here to Yangana, and uh, I'll tell you, the first thing you notice when you get out of the car here, it's a lot cooler than Kanara. Kanara, I was sweating as we are walking through the fields there and uh, moving around the town. But here in Kanara, I would say it's a good 10 degrees cooler, very nice temperature, very, very good feeling here. And you'll notice it's also a little greener here. I think they get a little more rain than we do. Uh, it is still the dry season, it is still windy. But it's a little bit greener here, so they must get rain a little further into the year than we do. So we're going to give you just a little tour of the town, the town square here. Not a lot of foreigners here. I know two that live here. Um, there used to be three that I knew. One of them has passed away. Uh, so there's not a lot of foreigners here. They have a couple little uh, restaurants, a couple little tiendas, uh, one little hardware store, I guess. And that's it. So you're about 30 minutes from Vilcabamba south. So anything of any substance, you'd have to drive back to Vilcabamba. But some people like the remoteness of this, the small town feel, very small village, and uh, just a really kind of a hometown kind of place. So what do you think? Let's get started. the Rio Yangana. This is a beautiful river, really nice temperature in the air here, and we've got this crystal clear water here. This water has to be absolutely pure. This is beautiful stuff. And what a nice area. We got added water as clear as can be. Wonderful spot to live. It's the next day and Santiago and I have made it here to San Pedro de Vilcabamba. And this is right outside of Vilcabamba. And San Pedro actually goes all the way. San Joaquin is included in, in San Pedro. And then back behind me is Sacapo. Uh, goes all the way up to the, the fish farm up there in Sacapo where the restaurant is. And San Pedro is a pretty, pretty big little uh, municipality here. 
And so this is all still part of Loja. And this is just a pretty little town square here. A uh, few foreigners live in this area, um, you know, more towards Zacapo, et cetera. Uh, but you will find most of the Ecuadorians in this community. But it's a great little community, uh, very tight knit. And so I think you'll enjoy it. So let's get started. Jolie Farms in Ecuador. We're here in Malacatos, standing in front of the church and the square in the center of town. Malacatos is a great valley, it's maybe 15 minutes from Vilcabamba. And uh, it's a little bit warmer, I think, than Vilcabamba here in the Malacatos Valley. Big valley goes a long ways. Um, there's a few um, uh, foreigners that live here, and so uh, mostly you're gonna find Ecuadorians here. They have a wonderful market on Sunday, so good Mercado. Lots of uh, fruits and vegetables here, big, big, much bigger than Vilcabamba. They also have a really nice indoor area for meats and chicken and fish. Um, so they do have more fish than you see at our Vilcabamba market. So it's a great place to come shop on Sunday. And uh, it's all Sunday morning, just kind of like the Vilcabamba market is. Now, Malacados is probably one and a half times the population of Vilcabamba. I would say Vilcabamba is around 5,000 people. Here it's about 8,500, maybe a little more. Um, so a little, a few more people here. So this is a great little town, great place to consider. Um, many expats have settled here in the past. Some love it, and um, you know some love Vilcabamba more. But that's going to be a personal choice. Join us as we take a little walk around the park here and give you a little glimpse of Malacatos. Let's get started. So here we are at the Mercado in Malacatos, and so this is the indoor part of the market and uh, where they have all the meat and fish and things like that in here. Really cool market. I hope you'll enjoy looking around in here. Come and check it out when you're here. Okay, so we're finishing up our trip here in uh, Parque Central in Vilcabamba. So um, I wanted to tell you that there's a lot of people who live in these valleys that we've shown you um, that still come to Vilcabamba on a regular basis. You know, they'll come here to eat at the restaurants, to do business here. Um, it's a cab ride away. Uh, some valleys are going to be more expensive to get here. But if you've got your own car, it makes it really easy to live in one of these outskirts, you know, one of these smaller towns and uh, come to Vilcabamba and socialize, do the restaurants. They call Vilcabamba the Sacred Valley, and they also call it the Valley of Longevity because a lot of people who live here are over 100 years old. Um, it was once considered a blue zone. There's some question to that because some people don't necessarily have birth certificates and so they can't really prove how old they are. 
but I know there's a lot of people here that I've met that are 96, 98, 99, in that range. So um, definitely people live a long time here. And I think it's because of the clean air, clean water, good exercise, and that's why that happens. So, you know, we tend to call the Bill Cabamba the playground for the retired, because uh, it's really nice to live here and go out and socialize every day and do all the great things that this town has to offer, all the wonderful restaurants. Almost 70 restaurants in this town now, a lot of restaurants. That number changes constantly, um, but there's a lot of variety of foods to eat here, a lot of great restaurants. So this is a wonderful park and this is a wonderful little town. I hope you'll uh, consider visiting all the towns that we've shown you over the last couple of days. I think you'll enjoy every one of them for what they are. And again, personal preference, what kind of climate you like, where you'd like to be more remote, or whether you'd like to be you know, closer into town. This area here in Aloha has it all. Thanks for watching, thumbs up.